Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, okay. teacher. Hi. Good, Good to see you. Teacher. Okay. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, hi. Let's let's begin. I'm going to share the screen with you. It's here. Okay. There it is. And uh, now I'm going to call your names for the attendance list. Okay. So when you hear a name, please let me know. Just let me check one small detail. Okay. Okay. So um, when you hear your name, please let me know. Alejandro Jose Quintanilla Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. <clears throat> um, Alicia Guadalupe Hernández Romero. Alicia Guadalupe Hernández Romero. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Thank you. Ana Yanira Mendoza. Good evening, teacher. I'm present. Thank you. Andrea Geraldine Sánchez Racinos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Andrea Michelle García Selva. Present, teacher. Thank you. Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Boris Martín Salinas Quintanilla. Here, teacher. Thank you. Selina Yvette Gutierrez Osorio. Present. Thank you. Denis Isaías Gómez Rodas. Good evening, present. Thank you. Daisy Carolina Rodríguez Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eric Ernesto Linares Aguirre. Eric Ernesto Linares Aguirre. Erika Maidel Antonio Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Francisco Alberto Lemus Guzmán. Present, teacher. Thank you. Iris Regina Hernández Cuellar. Is here, teacher. Thank you. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortez. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Jose Eraidin Enriquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Miguel Ángel Quintanilla Tejada. Present teacher. Thank you. Nadia Isolina Rodríguez Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. Noemí Alicia Estrada de Valle. Present teacher. Thank you. Ronald Antonio Luna López. Ronald Antonio Luna López. Saúl Antonio Hernández Torres. Present teacher. Thank you. I'm calling the attendance one more time for those who may have just joined us. Alicia Guadalupe Hernández Romero. Present. Thank you. Blanca Marisol Vargas Esteves. Present teacher. Thank you. Eric Ernesto Linares Aguirre. No. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Present teacher. Thank you. Ronald Antonio Luna López. Okay, I'm calling the attendance one more time at the end of the class. So everybody, let's take a look. This is Inglés Preavanzado Modulo 1. And that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service once again. Welcome. This is session number nine. And today is March the 13th of 2023. Okay, so let's begin. Here's what we're going to do. Um, it's the new section, section four now. Okay, which is very important. Uh, we should have completed sections number one, two, and three by now. And now we're going to begin section number four. 
Okay, so in this class, you will learn how to tell stories. What is that? Well, let's take a look. We're going to do first this, which is a snapshot, by the way. I think it's missing here. Hmm. No, oops. Okay, this is a snapshot, but uh, just let me copy this into here. Sorry, very quickly. Snapshot, sorry. So here we go. It's what a story, snapshot, the top the top eight newspaper sections. So uh, percent of adults, US newspapers readers who read each section. So uh, the question for you is, I have a question. Do you read the newspaper? Do you buy the newspaper or uh, do you just your you get your news you know on on sometimes through Twitter, Facebook, or similar platforms, or do you just watch the news you know on on TV or online? How do you how do you get your news? I need a volunteer to answer this. Selena, I usually uh, read it about the. The news in Instagram. On Instagram, okay. So it's you read the news on Instagram. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. You read the news on Instagram, okay. Do you buy the newspaper? Do you read the newspaper? No. Not really. Okay, no problem. Daisy Carolina and then Iris Regina. So Daisy, how about you? How do you get your news? I don't like uh, read the news. You don't like to uh, read the news. I I don't like. Uh, um, buy the newspaper and write the newspaper never so you you never, you like never read the newspaper okay i don't like it. okay you don't like it okay okay no problem it is regina hi teacher hi i honest i know i don't like it only buy the newspaper only <laughs> but you so you buy the newspaper but you don't read it no, nothing. Okay. <laughs> so, so who who reads the newspaper in your house? Uh, and they use uh, the uh, they use the 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 beers. Ah. The, the beers. Okay. So you have, do you have letters. do you have birds in your house? Yeah. Ah, okay. So you use it for the birds only. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a practical use for newspaper, totally. Anayanira and then Boris. So Anayanira, do you read the newspaper? Yes, I am, teacher. Okay. So you say uh, yes I do, right? Yes, okay, I do. so um what's your favorite newspaper section? Um Sudoku. <laughs> Sudoku, okay, or the, the puzzle basically. Okay, yeah, that, that's pretty nice. And uh, but what about what you read? What's um what's your favorite section of of the newspaper? We're talking about the, the sections that we read. Uh, the national news. National news. Okay. And okay. Edi editorial. Editorial. Okay. Very good. Okay. Nice. Nice. Very nice. I think Boris wanted to participate too. How about you, Boris? And then Noemi. Well, teacher, uh, sometimes I um, saw the news in on Twitter, mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes uh, with a, uh, I got a, an app mm -hmm. in my in my cell phone that is the uh, T El Salvador TV. El Salvador TV. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So you also get the news through the app El Salvador TV. Okay. Yes. Okay. Great. Great. And do you read the newspaper? Sometimes at uh, in in my job. Ah, okay. So at work, but not at home. Okay, interesting. Okay, then. Uh, thank you, Boris. What about Noemi? Noemi wants to participate. Uh, my favorite section is uh food and cooking. I'm sorry. My what is your uh, so, sorry? What's your favorite section? Uh, my favorite is food and cooking. Food and cooking. Okay, so yeah. you you learn uh, new recipes. Okay, 
So Nadia Isolina yeah. says, in my case, my favorite section of the newspaper is the comics. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, thank you, Noemi, and thank you, Nadia, okay, for your participation. Okay, well, let's take a look. This is a snapshot. So the top eight newspaper section. So percent of adult U.S. newspapers readers who read each section. So you have main news. This is only adults, okay? So main news, that's 70%. Sports, 43%. And now we have newspapers that are fully dedicated to sports, like... El Gráfico, for example, right? That's a newspaper that's fully dedicated to sports. Uh, then we have editorials, which is 42%. Business news, that's 39%. This is probably a little bit more difficult to, to understand. Then you have classified ads, okay? Classified ads, which is 37%. Nowadays, uh, well, people still, you know, see the classified ads, but... Uh, the classified ads are different now because now you, you if you want to find something, you usually go to uh, uh, Facebook Marketplace, for example. That's that's very useful. If you use Facebook, you go to the Marketplace section and then you can find something that is very similar to the classified ads. Also, there are some other apps. I don't want to mention the names because that would be like publicity, but there are some apps that you can use, right? And you can... Um, uh, look for classified ads like, you know, houses, um, cars, okay, or many other things that people are selling, or we're talking about products and services. So the next one is comics. Comics is a 36%. Then you have movie and TV listings. So that's 33%. Again, this is a little bit old because nowadays, well, most people watch cable service and 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 also uh, most people use streaming services like Netflix and Disney Plus. So in that case, you don't really need to know the movie and TV listings. You just have to go into the uh, streaming service and then you watch whatever you want at the time you want, as many times you want. So TV changed a lot. And finally, you have food and cooking. That's 32%. So there you go. Now, um, we just had a little conversation about, you know, the, the, the eight newspaper sections. And uh, there are some questions here, but because of the time, we're probably going to skip them because we already read this and also, well, you also expressed your opinion on this. So probably we have to just uh, get moving along. So uh, the second part is perspectives, a surprise ending. So you have listened to the TV news stories. What type of stories are they? So um, then you, you have the first story. Who wants to help me read this? I need a volunteer, please. A volunteer. Okay, Boris, and then Maritza. Okay, Boris, the first the first story, then Maritza, the second story, then Nadia, the third story, and then Erika Maidel, the fourth story. Okay. All right, let's do it. Okay, an attempted robbery took place in Easter Man today. A man was trying to rob the man, but he wasn't very lucky. While he was escaping from the van, the robber got caught in the revolving door. The police arrived and took the man to jail. Yeah. What a strange. Oh, well, well that, that's the second okay. story. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so okay, thank, you. Uh, thank you, Boris. So an attempted robbery took place at Eastern Bank today. A man was trying to rob the bank, but he wasn't very lucky. While he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. The police arrived and took the man to jail. <laughs> okay. So the second story, I believe uh, Nadia wanted to read, I guess. Okay. Yes, it's my turn. Uh, whose, whose turn is it? Ah, Nadia, okay, okay. Okay, I'll start. It was his a stranger soccer match last night. The Bears won the game, but the lion scores the goal. As Jake Walter was running toward the ball, he tripped an accidentally kicked into the ground wall and the score was first one, Lion, zero. Okay, thank you. It goes, it was a strange soccer match last night. 
the Bears won the game, but the Lions scored the goal. Huh? Los Leones metieron el gol. As Jake Walters was running toward the ball, he tripped, right? And accidentally kicked it into the wrong goal. The score was Bears 1, Lions 0. It was an auto goal, a gay cell. Bad mistake right there. So again, right, the score was Bears 1, Lions 0. Okay. It was a blooper. I'm sorry? It was a blooper. It was a blooper, yeah. <laughs> okay. A blunder, definitely. So yeah, it was it was a an, an auto goal. Okay, it was okay, they they pretty much scored the goal but in the wrong you know goal section. So um Anna Yanira, number three, please. Mm. Okay, teacher. Uh an embarrassing incident happened in the transportation cover in this morning. The Secretary of Transportation was making a speech when a protester threw an egg at her. The protester was arrested, and the secretary finishes her speech. Okay, thank you. An embarrassing incident happened at the transportation conference this morning. The Secretary of Transportation was making a speech when a protester threw an egg at her. The protester was arrested and the secretary finished her speech. Okay, there you go. And then Erika Maidel, what about the last one? Okay. An electrical problem at Pax Arena interrupted a Planet concert last night. The planets were performing a new song when the lights went out, but the show went on. The planets continued to play in the dark and the light came back came, came back on an hour later. Mm -hmm. An electrical problem at Pax Arena interrupted a Planets concert last night. That's the name of the band, Planets. The Planets were performing a new song when the lights went out. No lights. But the show went on. The Planets continued to play in the dark and the lights came back an hour later. So that's perspective, it's a surprising ending. So um, what type of stories are these? Let's take a look at the first one. Okay, I'm going to read the first one and you tell me the type of story it is. An attempted robbery took place at Eastern Bank today. A man was trying to rob the bank, but he wasn't very lucky. While he was escaping from the bank, the robber got caught in the revolving door. The police arrived and took the man to jail. What kind of story is that? Or in what category can you put that? Main news, sports, editorials, business news, classified ads. Jenny. I see main news. Main news, yeah, totally. It's the main news. Okay, thank you. The second one, it was a strange soccer match last night. The Bears won the game, but the Lions scored the goal. As Jay Walters was running toward the ball, he tripped and accidentally kicked it into the wrong goal. The score was Bears 1, Lions 0. Selena Ivet, what kind of story is that? And sports news. And sports, absolutely. Okay, sports news. Very good. Thank you. Next one. An embarrassing incident happened at the transportation conference this morning. The Secretary of Transportation was making a speech when a protester threw an egg at her. The protester was arrested and the secretary finished her speech. What kind of story is that? Oh. I'm sorry? Mm hmm What kind of story is that? Uh, how can you classify this? Political. Maybe it's political. Okay. And I guess it goes in main news, right? Also, because everything that has to do with politics, with national politics, also goes to uh, the main news. But yeah, totally. Thank you, uh, Ana Yanira. Okay, and the last one, an electrical problem at Pax Arena interrupted the Planets concert last night. The Planets were performing a new song where the lights went out. Maritza Isabel, okay, but the show went on. The Planets continued to play in the dark and the lights came back an hour later. So, Maritza? Uh, movie and TV. Movies and TV, okay, I will say so. Maybe something like uh, entertainment, 
right? Okay, for a more general category. But yeah, it goes in that category, definitely. Okay, thank you, Maritza. Okay, very good. So now we have uh, perspectives, a surprise ending before we continue into the grammar section for the first grammar section for this unit or section. Um, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the expressions? Question. Yes, Nadia. What what is the meaning revolving door? A revolving door. Okay. It's a kind of door um that revolves. Okay, it spins. It's usually divided in four sections, and then one person gets inside, and then when the person gets inside the place, the door spins a little bit. It's a bit difficult to explain. Okay, let me show you a picture. <laughs> it's um, in, in a hotel. For example, okay, yeah, at, at hotels you can find revolving doors. Let me show you. This is a revolving door. Mm -hmm. Like this. <laughs> These are revolving doors right there. Okay. Any other questions about the vocabulary? No questions? Okay, then. All right, we're going to move, we're going to continue. It's a lesson objective. In this class, you will practice the past continuous versus the simple past. What's that? Let's take a look. The grammar focus. Past continuous versus simple past. You use the past continuous for an ongoing action in the past. And you use the simple past for an event that interrupts that action. So you have, for example, while he was escaping from the bank, that's past continuous, the robber got caught in the revolving door. Got, okay, that's past simple. Second example, as Jake was running toward the wall, that's past continuous, he tripped and kicked it into the wrong goal. That's simple past. The secretary was making a speech. That's past continuous. When a protester threw a egg at her. That's simple past. But how does this work? This is not new. You have studied this before in previous levels. I believe in uh, pre-intermediate. Yeah, in pre-intermediate one or pre-intermediate two. Something somewhere in there. So, uh, but we're going to study that again today. Don't worry. So. What's the idea right here? We use the past simple for complete actions in the past. Okay, complete actions, actions that finished, that began and finished. For example, you have this. What did you do last weekend? What did you do? Some people will say, I went to the movies. That's past simple. I went to the movies. I played tennis. Again, that's past simple. I play tennis. I read a book. Yeah, that's past simple. I read a book. The next one, I cleaned the windows. Again, past simple. I went to a concert. That's past simple again. And finally, I stayed home. All of these sentences are in past simple because they indicate actions that are complete in the past. I went to the movies. That's complete. I play tennis. Yeah, that's complete. I read a book. That's a complete action. I cleaned the windows. I went to a concert. I stayed home. Those are complete actions. Give me a second. Okay. So... What is the structure? Past simple, affirmative form. What do you have? You just need the subject and then a verb in past. Like this, Abraham worked in this company. My friends went to Mexico last month. Now, one thing that is good about the past simple is that it doesn't have any special forms for he, she, or it. So that's good. So, uh, for example, we say, just to give you an idea, 
I, yeah, subjects you, we, and they, and then we have the special ones, which are usually he, she, and it. So in that case, you say, for example, I played, that's the past. Okay. You played, we played, they played. And what about he, she, and it? It's the same. It doesn't change. So that's a good thing about the past simple. It doesn't have any special forms for he, she, or it. It's the same for all subjects. That's the good thing. But there is a bad thing about the past simple the regular verbs, okay? You know that when you have regular verbs, for example, the verb visit, the past is visited, simple as that. When you have the verb love, the past form is just loved, in ed. You have the verb work, the past form is worked, ed. You have the verb decide, and you have decided, ed, and so on. These are regular verbs. The problem with past simple is that there are also irregular verbs, and when that happens, we have a problem. And what is that problem? The problem is that these verbs don't follow the rules. These verbs don't end in ed. They have special forms and you need to memorize them. An example is the verb go. You say, I went. You went. You say, he went. Oh, sorry, made a mistake here. Should be, we went. You have, they went. And the same happens right here. You say he went, she went, it went. And that's a problem right there because this verb in past doesn't end in ed. It's an irregular verb. So there's only one solution. You need to memorize them. Take a list and every day try to read them and try to memorize the past forms and the past participles because you are also going to need them. Past forms and past participles of irregular verbs. It's very important that you know them. So again, here you have some examples. Abraham worked in this company. Okay, this is a regular verb. My friends went to Mexico last month. This is an irregular verb. So, you have a subject and then a verb in past. What about the negative form? The negative form is the subject plus didn't plus the verb. But this time, you have to use the verb in base form, not in past form. So, if I say, Abraham worked in this company, what is the negative form? What is the negative form? Dennis, Isaias, and then Jenny, Elizabeth. Abraham didn't work in this company. Abraham didn't work in this company. Now look, you say Abraham didn't, and then the verb in base form, work, not worked, not the past, it's the base form in this company. Thank you very much. Jenny Elizabeth, what about the second one? My friends went to Mexico last month. What is the negative form? My friends didn't Okay. My friends didn't go to Mexico last month. Okay, that's the negative form. So if you say my friends went, the negative form is my friends didn't go to Mexico last month. Good. And then finally, you have the question form. The question form is the auxiliary first, which is did, then the subject, and then the verb in base form. And finally, a question mark, of course. So if I say Abraham worked in this company, what is the question form? Or what is the question uh, version of this sentence? Boris, and then Maritza. 
Uh, did Abraham work in this company? Did Abraham work in this company? That's right. Did Abraham work in this company? Again, the verb is in base form. Thank you. Very good. Maritza, the second one, please. My friends went to Mexico last month. What will be the question? Did my friends go to Mexico last month? Did my friends, or you can say your friends because you're probably asking a different person. But yeah, did your friends or my friends go to Mexico last month? That is correct. Now, something that I want you to check here is that we use the verb in past only in affirmative sentences. Look, if the sentence is affirmative, you use the verb in past. If the sentence is negative, or if you have a question, the verb is in base form all the time, okay? There are no exceptions to this rule. Again, verb in the past only in affirmative sentences. Negative sentences and questions, you need to use the verb in base form. Before we continue, do you have any questions? No questions? Okay. Now, what about this? We use the past continuous for incomplete ongoing actions at a specific moment in the past. All right? Now, this is different from past simple because past simple indicates complete events and complete actions in the past. Past continuous, on the other hand, is for incomplete ongoing actions at a specific moment in the past. So if they ask you, hey, what were you doing last Saturday at 10 a.m.? Somebody will say, I was walking the dog. Someone else will say, I was working at the office. And someone else will say, I was doing exercise. That is past continuous. So what's the structure of past continuous? Well, the affirmative form goes like this. You have to use the subject and after that was or where. Now you have to be careful here because you use was for the subjects, I, he, she, and it. I, he, she, and it, you use was. And then for the subjects, we, you, and they, you use where. Okay, very important. So after that, you have to use the verb in ing. So you have to example, Susan was watching TV. The kids were playing baseball. Why do we say where? Because the kids is the equivalent of they. So the kids were playing, they were playing baseball. What about the negative form? The negative form goes like this. You have to use the subject plus wasn't or weren't, which is the negative of the verb be in the past. Wasn't or weren't. And after that, the verb in ing. So if I say Susan was watching TV, what's the negative form of, this, of the same sentence? It is Regina and then Boris Martin. Susan wasn't watching TV. Susan wasn't watching TV. Yeah, simple as that. Thank you, Iris. Very good. Boris Martin Salinas. The kids weren't playing baseball. The kids weren't playing baseball. That is correct. Very good. That's the negative form. So the kids weren't playing baseball. All right. What about the next one? You have... Uh, question form. For the question form, you need to begin with the auxiliary verb, which is was or where, and then the subject, and then the verb in ing, and finally, if there's anything else, you can include it there, and you end with a, a question mark. So the first one is, Susan was playing, was watching TV, I'm sorry. So what's the question form? Erika Maidel. Was Susan watching TV? Was Susan watching TV? That is correct. Very good. That's the question for him. Uh, thank you, Erica. And what about the second one? The kids were playing baseball. 
Who knows the answer to this? Please raise your hand. Maritza Isabel, okay. Where the kids playing baseball? Where the kids playing baseball? That is good. Okay, very good. So that's a question for him. It's a firm, uh, yes, no question, actually. So great. Okay, great. That's good participation. So what do we have next? Let's take a look. Before we do this, let me check something. Okay. We're going to do an exercise based on past continuous only. So what is that? Your turn, complete the sentences. You have to choose from was looking, was raining, was wearing, was working, wasn't listening, were sitting, wearing, looking, and where are you going? What about number one? I need a volunteer to read it. And this is a copy paste exercise. You only need to select the phrase from the box, from the blue box to complete the sentence. So when you know the answer, please raise your hand, let me know. And again, uh, I invite everybody to participate because it's only the same people. Siempre son los mismos, siempre son los mismos. Okay. Participemos todos. Nadia y Solina, number one. Today, Helen is wearing pants. Yesterday, she was wearing a skirt. Today, Helen is wearing pants. Yesterday, she was wearing a skirt. That is correct. Thank you, Nadia. Alejandro Quintanilla, number two. What did the teacher say? I don't know. I was I wasn't listening. I uh, know I wasn't listening. Okay, good, good. Thank you, Alejandro. Number three, raise your hand if you know the answer. Boris. We were sitting at the back of the room. We couldn't hear well. That's correct. We were sitting at the back of the room. We couldn't hear well. Good. Thank you very much. Erika Maidel, number four. Um, this time last year, James was working in a restaurant. This time last year, James was working in a restaurant. That is good. Very good. Okay, number six. No, sorry, number five. Daisy. They didn't see me. They was looking in my direction. Was looking. Um, it's a little different. Uh, weren't looking uh -huh. in they, my they, direction. They weren't yes. looking in my direction. So uh -huh. The plural. Uh-huh, correct. They didn't see me. They weren't looking in my direction. So no me vieron, no estaban viendo para donde yo estaba. So they, they weren't looking in my direction. Thank you, Daisy. Very good. Number six. Who wants to try? Raise your hand, please. Again, let's try to participate. Los que no están participando, quiero escucharlos también. Veamos. Jose Raivin. Okay, number six. The weather ba was bad. It was very cold and it was raining. The weather was bad. It was very cold and it was raining. That is good. Thank you, Jose. Correct answer. Number seven. Who knows this one? Raise your hand, please. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Boris. And then Nadia for number eight. Okay. I saw you in a taxi. Where were you going? I saw you in the taxi. Where were you going? Okay, very good. Thank you, Boris. And then Nadia, the last one, number eight. I saw Michael a few minutes ago. He was looking for you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Nadia. Very good. I saw Michael a few minutes ago. He was looking for you. Te estaba buscando, right? So he was looking for you. Okay, great. That's an exercise on the past continuous. So some grammar explanation right now. What time is it? 8.40. Okay, we still have a few minutes. Let's take a look. This is past simple. So how do we use it? 
pay close attention to this. You say, what did you do yesterday morning? So the answer is, we played tennis from 10 to 11.30. What's that? You started at 10, you finished at 11.30. We played tennis. We use past simple because this is a complete action. Okay, complete action. It began and it finished. It had a beginning and it had an end. Completed action. That's why we use past simple. But what about past continuous? What were you doing at 10.30? Now it's a different question. What were you doing? ¿Qué estabas haciendo? What were you doing at 10.30? The person says, we were playing tennis. That means that they began or they started at 10. They finished at 11.30. So at 10.30, what happened? We were playing tennis. That was an action in progress. It was not an action that was complete. No, it was incomplete. It was in progress in that moment. Okay. That's the idea. You have uh, four more examples. Jack read a book yesterday. It's past simple. So if they tell you, I read a book, that means from beginning to end. Nadia. Teacher, the, this, this topic is very difficult to me. It's very confused. Oh, really? But it's, um, in the past, I have a question. In, in the past, hmm. continue the action is a modif se modifica la acción. Se puede modificar la acción en, en el tiempo. ¿Cómo así? Um, no sé cómo preguntarlo en inglés. Puede Pero, preguntar en español. Sea, no, hay, no hay problema. Ok, es que, por ejemplo, aquí en el, en, en el caso del de jugar tenis, es una acción que recientemente se, se hizo. Más bien... Es más, es una, es más inmediata. No, más bien es una acción que estaba en progreso. Es decir, es lo que estaba sucediendo en un momento específico. Vaya, por ah, ejemplo... Okay. Esperemos, bueno, ojalá no, no revivir eh, un momento muy malo al hacer esta pregunta, además que está temblando estos días, seguido. Um, ¿Ustedes se acuerdan del terremoto del año 2001, del 13 de enero? Sábado, 13 de enero del año 2001. Ok. La pregunta es, ¿qué estaban haciendo ustedes? In my case, I was washing the dishes. Eso estaba haciendo, o sea que comencé a lavar los platos y a media lavada empezó a temblar y, y me salí de la casa. Entonces era una acción en progreso. No había terminado, comenzó, pero estaba en proceso de hacerse. Todavía no había terminado. Eso es el past continuous. Entonces veamos, Nadia, vamos a ver. What were you doing when the earthquake of 2001 on January the 13th, 2001, began. I stayed in, mm -hmm. in my home. Ajá, pero eso es más bien lo que usted hizo, lo que decidió hacer. Pero en el momento en que comenzó, ¿qué estaba haciendo usted? ¿Qué se encontraba haciendo? Um, I, uh, ahí, ahí ocupa I was, el past continuo. Ajá, I was. I was uh, cleaning uh, my house. I was cleaning my house. Así es. O sea, que usted estaba ahí haciendo la limpieza y de pronto empezó a temblar. Todavía no había terminado. Estaba en proceso de hacerlo. En ese momento en específico. Así es como se utiliza. Tenemos aquí okay. unos en el chat. Iris says, I was working. And Saúl says, maybe I was crying because I was just a little baby. <laughs> okay. Francisco dice, yo estaba en el autobús. Okay. So you can say, I was riding the bus. Okay. That's the idea. So again, uh, you have it right here. Hey, everybody, thank you for your participation. Past continuous. What were you doing at 1030? 
Porque sabemos que empezaron a jugar a las 10 y terminaron a las 11 y media. Significa que a las 10 y media estaban jugando todavía. So, we were playing tennis. That's the idea. So, uh, again, the example right here, Jack read a book, past simple, yesterday. That means from beginning to end. He read the entire book, the complete book. But if we say Jack was reading a book when the phone rang, okay? So Jack was reading a book, he hadn't finished, and then the, the telephone rang, and he had to answer the phone. We have a chat entry here. I was listening to the class in in the four in the fourth floor at the university. Wow. Okay. Sorry, Boris. <laughs> that must have felt horrible. Okay. Okay. Next example. Uh, a question for him. Did you watch the movie on TV last night? Vio la película? And uh, the next one is, were you watching TV when I called you? Estabas viendo la tele cuando te llamé? Two different ideas right there. So, you can say that something happened that's past simple in the middle of something else that's past continuous. Example, look, Anna called me while we were having dinner. So there are two actions right here. The first one is here. You, you say, we were having dinner. This was an action in progress. So we were having dinner, we were eating, we were talking, etc., etc. And then suddenly, the telephone, okay? Anna called me. So you have two actions. One is an action in progress. The action in progress is in past continuous. And then there is an action that interrupts the action in progress. That action is in past simple. Example, it was raining when I got up. So in the morning, I got up and I saw outside the window and it was raining. I hurt my back, me lastime, right? I hurt my back while I was working in the garden. So I hurt my back oh, while I was working in the garden. So that means that I started working in the garden and at the beginning it was good, it was okay. But then after a while, ow, okay, mm, I hurt my back. That's the idea. Do you understand? Yep, okay. <laughs> it's Monday, okay. Yeah, I know. I'm also tired. I know. I know it's difficult. I yeah. admire you for being Very here. Tired. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, Mondays are always difficult. I know. Yes, you know, when I started the class, I had a lot of energy. But suddenly, in the middle of the class, I started feeling very sleepy. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I have a class to teach. I'm working. <laughs> so I need to wake up. So um, something else that's very, very, very important is this. Take a look. When is a word that introduces a clause in past simple. While usually, but not always, okay, introduces a clause in past continuous. Sometimes you can use when with past continuous, but most, most of the times you will have while. Okay, Nadia says, it, this, this, this topic is difficult for me. Ah, but don't worry, Nadia, we're going, to, we're going to do some exercises. We're going to have a lot of practice, don't worry. So, you have this. We were having dinner when Matt called me. So if you take a close look, you have the word when. And after when, what do you have? Past simple. So when introduces a clause in past simple. Now, the same idea, but in a different word order. You say, Matt called me while we were having dinner. Now, what do you notice? You have the word while, and what comes after that? Past continuous. While usually introduces a clause in past continuous. So that's a good way of seeing this. When you see the word when, ah, you know that next, 
most likely you will have past simple. And when you see the word while, most likely you will have past continuous after that. So that's a good key. What about this? This is an exercise for you. Exercise and explanation at the same time. I was studying for a test when I heard a strange noise. When introduces a clause in past simple. Now, how can you express the same idea, the same sentence, but using while? Raise your hand if you know. Boris. Um, I, I was studying for a test. Okay. While I heard a strange noise. Not exactly. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. I, heard, I heard a strange noise while I was studying for, for a test. That's better. Okay. So, I heard a strange noise while I was studying for a test. ¿Y cuál es la diferencia? La idea es la misma. Solo cambia el orden de las palabras y cambia esta en particular. Porque when se ocupa antes del past simple y while normalmente se ocupa antes del past continuous. So, I heard a strange noise while I was studying for a test. What about number three? Thank you, Boris. Number three, Sandra finished the report while we were having lunch. Jenny Elizabeth. Okay, I tried. Uh, we were having lunch when Sandra finished the report. Correct. We were having lunch when Sandra finished the report. Yeah, that's correct. Good. And the next one. I saw Daniel while I was walking the dog. How can you express this sentence using when? Raise your hand, please. Maritza. I was walking the dog when I saw Daniel. I was walking the dog when I saw Daniel. That is correct. Very good. That's the idea. Okay. Um, now, if you need uh, some extra practice, there's extra practice right here that I want you to do. Okay. So what is that? Your turn. Match the two halves of the sentences. So uh, the sentences are, or the halves of the sentences are, when I arrived at the theater, Number two, we fell asleep. Number three, Robert learned to speak French. Number four, Alex didn't come out with us. Number five, the car began to make a strange noise. Number six, the TV was on. Number seven, when I first met Jocelyn. Okay, and then you have when she was when he was living in Paris. Uh, she was studying law at the university when I was driving home. But no one was watching while we were traveling by bus. My cousin was waiting for me and because he was studying for a test. So what are you going to do? I want you to match the two halves of the sentences. So you have the first one. When I arrived at the theater, what happened? When I, when I arrived at the theater, uh, Maritza, sorry, did you want to participate? Or is your hand just up? No, the hand was up. Okay, Boris and then Nadia. Number one, when I arrived at the theater. My cousin was waiting for me. My cousin was waiting for me. Okay. When I arrived at the theater, my cousin was waiting for me. That is correct. Very good. Very good. Nadia, what about number two? We fell asleep. Um, we fell asleep. When I was driving home. While I was driving home. Okay. Yeah. Or well, but but take a look. I mean, and grammatically it is possible, but he say we fell asleep while I was driving home. Difficilmente va a sobrevivir para contar la historia. Maybe a different one. Uh-huh. Sorry? Give me a second. I okay, okay, read. okay. Oh, no, no problem, oh. no problem. Okay. 
um, while we're we're traveling by bus. Okay, we fell asleep while we were traveling by bus. That is correct. Okay, very good. Thank you, Nadia. Erica, number three. Um, Robert learned to speak French when he was living in Paris. Robert learned to speak French when he was living in Paris. Good. You can also say while he was living in Paris. Very good. Thank you, Erica. That's the right answer. So um, what about number four? Raise your hand if you know. Maritza and then Alejandro. Number four. Mm -hmm. Alex Alex didn't come up with us because he was studying for a test. Because he was studying for a test. That is correct. Thank you, Maritza. Alex didn't come out with us because he was studying for a test. Great. Alejandro Quintanilla, number five. The car began to make a strange noise while I was driving home. The car began to make a strange noise while I was driving home. Yeah, that's correct. You were driving and then the car started like... <laughs> Okay, so you knew something was wrong by there. Okay, thank you, Alejandro, very good. What about number six, Noemi? The TV was on, but no one was watching. The TV was on, but no one was watching. That's right, very good. Thank you, Noemi, correct answer. Welcome, teacher. And number seven? Who has this one? This is the easiest one. <laughs> There's only one left, so. Jenny Elizabeth. When I first met Johnny, he was studying law at the university. When I first met Jocelyn, she was studying law at the university. Okay, that's good. Jenny, tenemos que hacer algo con ese micrófono porque no se le entiende mucho. Se escucha como que, estuvo, como que estuviera bien lejos y como que tuviera algo, una almohada en la boca, así se escucha. Entonces necesitamos... Similar that great Darth Vader. Like Darth Vader <laughs> from Star Wars. Uh -huh. si, 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 existiese la si existiese la posibilidad, por supuesto, porque tampoco queremos hacerle incurrir en gasto, ¿verdad? pero si se pudiera conseguir un microfonito de algunos que se puedan colgar aquí así, tal vez eso ayudaría un poco la situación, porque sí cuesta un poquito entenderle. Me imagino que es por el, el equipo, hay algo en el equipo que no lo permite. Ok. All right. So, um, your turn. Okay, so write one sentence using both the past simple and the past continuous. An example, and this is the same example that I always give and I gave you a moment ago. On January the 13th, 2001, I was doing the dishes, which is I was washing the dishes when the earthquake began. Ahora bien, si usted no quiere hablar de esto porque a lo mejor esto le trae malos recuerdos, puede decir otra cosa, ¿verdad? Pero si no tiene problema en hablar de esto, puede, puede decir su propia oración. ¿Qué estaba haciendo usted cuando comenzó el terremoto del 2001? Por ahí nos decía, eh, ¿quién dijo por acá? Saúl dijo que, que quizás llorando porque era un bebé todavía. Bueno, está joven. <ríe> bueno, en su caso, por ejemplo, ya que no se acuerda, puede hablar de cualquier otro evento. La cuestión es ocupar past simple y past continuous. So who wants to participate? Mm -hmm. let's, let's remember the earthquake. So what were you doing? Si no le molesta al respecto, por supuesto. Maritza. Teacher, how do you say acta? How do you say? Acta. Acta. Mm. Oh, acta de, de, de qué? De, de una reunión, por ejemplo. Ajá. That's a bit difficult, but I guess you can say certificate. Or document. Because it's a, yeah, because you have act, acta de nacimiento, es un uh, birth certificate, but let me check because I'm not really sure. Give okay, me a moment. But... Ajá. I was writing a document. 
for the short? Yeah, it's when... a certificate. Mm -hmm. Certificate okay. is the word. So I was I was writing or completing a certificate okay. for the church. Yes. Okay. When when the earthquake began. When the earthquake began. Okay. So I was completing or I was uh, filling up a certificate um, for the church. Okay. When the earthquake began. Okay. That's good. Thank you, Maritza. Who else? Who wants to participate? Jenny Elizabeth. I was take a shower. I was taking a shower. Taking a shower. Taking a okay, shower. taking a shower. Okay, so um all right. Uh, she says Jenny says I was taking a shower. My brother was also taking a shower, I remember. <laughs> my my father said, like, son, get out of the house, get out of the house, but because he was he wasn't wearing any clothes because he was taking a shower. He didn't want to go out. So the earthquake passed. And after that, he came out of the bathroom, like, you know, with a towel wrapped around his body. <laughs> it was funny. So, I mean, that, that in particular was funny. The earthquake was not funny, definitely. Okay. A lot of people, well, it, it ended in tragedy for a lot of people. Okay. Um, someone else? One more person? Okay. Erika. Uh, on January 13, 2001, I was cooking when the earthquake began. You were cooking lunch because it was like at 11 something in the morning. Uh -huh, yeah. so. Yes. Okay. Do you remember what you were cooking? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay. It is Regina. On January 13, 100. Two, I, 2000, 2001, sorry. 2001, I was working the Hotel Princess when okay. I had the moon building. Okay, I was working at the... Uh, what, what was the hotel? Princess, Princess Hotel. Okay, so we were working at the hotel when the earthquake began and everything start, started shaking and moving around. Wow. Yeah. That must have been scary. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to leave it here because it's already nine and three. So we need to end the class. But before we do that, I'm just going to call the attendance for the ones who didn't reply before. Eric Ernesto Linares Aguirre. Are you here, Eric Ernesto? Eric? No, there's no Eric. Only Erica. <laughs> so here we go. And uh, Ronald Antonio Luna Lopez. Are you here, Ronald? No. Okay, then. Well, in that case, we're going to finish the class right now. Everybody, thank you for being here. Thank you for connecting. Thank you for your participation. And thank you for sharing your opinions and your experiences. Okay, that was very good. Uh, we will continue tomorrow. Good night. Good see night. you tomorrow, good teacher. Good thank night. you for good all. Night. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.